Today we're in the Peak District at a place called Kerber Gap. We're parked at the side of the road, free parking. So at the beginning of the car park, we turn right just before the seat. Today we're going to walk up to Kerber Edge and Frog Edge and then White Edge and make it around. So we just keep heading straight forward uphill onto Kerber Edge and then we'll be turning left. After 10 minutes we're just below the top. That's looking to our right. That's looking back beyond the car park. We're looking down onto Kerber and Calver now. Sun's starting to come out. A few more feet. We'll be on the top turning left along Kerber Edge. As we come onto the top, we walk into an old quarry. Down below us, we've got a half made grit stone grinding wheel. You're walking with a taxi driver today in the Peak District along Kerber Edge. It's the 9th of September today, slightly cloudy, just a bit damp, but hopefully the sun will come out. It's just raining slightly from behind, so we'll carry on filming. We just managed to get our coats on and then it stopped. I think it'll be on and off all day. Well, I don't know if you can see this, but just down below us on our left, rainbow sun's come out behind us raining just in front well let's hope this comes out we keep going we've just moved round a bit because that's quite good is that just curving over the top of the rocks well we'll leave it for now so we'll never get finished we just keep heading forward well the rainbow's moved off to our right hand side there's plenty of people about along this edge today even though it is a bit cool you do need a camera though there's plenty to see you can see the rainbow in the distance in between the hills and this is a good place to take your dog if you want to take it for a little walk maybe keep it on a lead though don't let it drop over edge So we're still heading forward, you can see the path and as we drop down slightly and keep heading forward, there's the view. As you can see there's, well it looks like in front there there's somebody, no they're not, I thought they were rock climbing but they're not, they're just on the edge. Well we'll leave that for now, when we get a bit closer up we see they are rock climbing there look. Maybe not at the moment, but we can see the rope down. We just keep heading forward. It's a good wide path to follow, is this one. That's looking left. And when you see that view on your left hand side, look to your right. About 50 feet through the heather. We've an old stone circle here, look. It's only tiny, but probably Stone Age, we don't know. We keep going. We just keep heading forward through a tiny gate. You'll pass this large rock on your left hand side. We're heading towards the road now, we're not far away. As soon as you come to the road, cross straight over onto the footpath and through the little gate at the other side, down into the wood. After two or three minutes crossing over a stream, you'll come out into the Pain Display car park. At the end of the car park, you can turn right, that'll take you to the pub. Or you can turn left at the end of the car park, 
and that'll keep you off the main road. We're going to turn left, then head forward. Both paths lead to the pub. We'll be at the pub in five minutes. We turn right, going through two gates. You can see the pub in the distance between the trees. At the road, we turn left, walking across the front of the pub. At the pub, we cross over the road. You've got your footpath sign there, look. So we go through the gate, bearing left, towards the trees in the distance. When we got to the trees, nice and sheltered, we decided to stop for a cup of tea. That's the view we've been looking at for the last half an hour, back towards the pub. We turn back round now and go through the gate, into the tree line and carry on our walk. So we're heading through the trees, bearing off slightly right. After three or four minutes, you'll see the footpath sign in front of you. We turn right there. We're heading towards White Edge. That brings us out into the open, heading forward with the wall on our right hand side. So we keep heading forwards till we get to the footpath sign and then we turn right. Heading towards where them two people are stood, White Edge. The signpost says Kerber Gap. So we're walking along the top now. We've just seen this bird of prey fly and as we've watched where he lands we've suddenly found a herd of deer down below. Let's get close in. They're about 300 foot in front of us. They haven't, I don't know if they've noticed us or not but the just stood there doing now so and these are wild this isn't the Chatsworth estate these are wild are these yeah they're just keeping still Well, that's about as close as we can get. Well, this is unexpected, is this? We didn't expect to see deer. And that's thanks to a, a little kestrel of some flying over. Made us look. Well, we'll leave them for now and keep going. And this is on White Edge. Well, that were great. Them deer just down below. We just keep heading forward. That's looking to our right hand side over White Edge. The breeze is just starting to get up a bit now, but at least it's dry. That's looking to our right again. And then as we walk forward, I can see what looks like heads stuck out the grass. Let's go in a bit closer. Can you see them? Let's go in a bit closer still. Well, from a distance, I'd have sworn blind they were deer there. We're still heading forward, following the path. As we head forward, we pass the trig point on our left. Trig points on our left. We'll soon be going down. As we walk along, the path starts to drop down till it meets the wall and the end of the field system. We turn right, following the wall, crossing over that tiny bridge. You can see the path in front of us. We haven't so far to go now. As we come to the top of the hill, we come to the Payne Display car park and the road. We turn right there downhill back to our car just before we set forward foot road we see a little kestrel he's landed in the tree there look he's sitting tight he didn't let the rook bother him the rook's just above him trying to scare him off but he's not moving Well, I think we'll leave that for now. 
All we have to do now is walk down the road a short way and we'll be back at our car. We hope you've enjoyed our walk in the Peak District up onto Whitehedge Round. You've been walking with the taxi driver today. <laughs>